what's going on, YouTube fam? This your boy Tony two times, and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. Before I start, be sure to tap that like button. Definitely watch this video to the end to hear the full story and all the details in the case for the day one fam. Y'all already know it's all love. Thanks for tuning back in to another episode. If you're new to the channel and you're feeling the content, feel free to subscribe. Definitely hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Oh yeah, feel free to share the channel with your peoples. Everybody is welcome. Let's get right into the story. Being in your early 20s is an exciting time in life. Depending on what you want out of life, that's the time to grind, stack that money while you are still young with a lot of energy and build towards your future. For a lot of people at that age, you are probably earning a college degree if you choose to go to school, getting ready to go into a career and start this journey we call adulthood. Some individuals even meet their soulmates at this time, a person they will grow with, maybe even get married to and have kids with. Basically, these years can dictate your future and how you end up situated out here in the world. But of course, we can't leave out the fun in your early 20s. Clubs, parties, get togethers with friends, so young and energetic, you probably can turn up, drink all night, and still make it to work at 9 a.m., bright-eyed, and ready to go. Life is about balance, and there's nothing wrong with enjoying yourself. Some like to work hard and play hard. Nowadays, you don't even have to play the club scene around a bunch of strangers you don't know. You can plan with your closest friends, go in on an Airbnb with a private location. Now, that should eliminate all the goofy stuff like people who can't control their liquor, random club fights, and shootings. So you can really kick back and have worried free fun. But in reality, anytime you are dealing with people, you really can't say what to expect. Even when everybody is supposed to be cool, one hot head can turn a regular night into tragedy. And on this episode of Hood Tales, we'll be taking it to Katy, Texas to discuss a case of a fun night out amongst friends that ended in tragedy after one man lost it. In January of this year, young couple Nicholas King and Alicia Rice had a bright future. Both in their prime at 24 years old, they were described as focused, hardworking, and driven. Alicia had graduated from St. Mary's College while she worked full time and had plans to go on to grad school. Nicholas was big in sports, even graduating school with a basketball scholarship. He went on to college and afterwards landed a job as a correctional officer. But his heart and soul was Alicia. The two had plans on getting engaged and starting a family together. As the two years they shared at this point meant a lot to both of them. The couple also shared mutual friends, including a 24-year-old named Michael Abodo. Described as laid back but very popular, the young man moved around a lot. Born in Juliet, Illinois, then migrated to Brentwood, California. From there, his family landed in Texas, where Michael played basketball and went on to graduate from high school and then went on to attend Prairie View A&M University. Soon after, the young man will pursue a career as a real estate agent. Michael was stated to treat all his friends like brothers and sisters. So when he contacted Nicholas, Alicia, and about eight more friends, to let them know he was having a party on January 21st to celebrate his birthday, everyone agreed without hesitation. Michael decided he would get the Airbnb in Katy, Texas. The night of the party, the couple were excited to head out, link up with friends, and have a good time. As everyone arrived to the house on the 4600 block of Russet Leaf Trace, things seemed normal at first. A few drinks flowing, familiar faces, including another young man, 25-year-old Jalen McIntyre. As the night went on, everyone was vibing, talking, dancing, enjoying each other's company. But upstairs in the house, an incident caught Michael's attention. Allegedly, Jalen had a young lady at gunpoint demanding her phone. As she screamed no, Michael peeped what was going on and confronted Jalen. Like, nah, bro, we not doing that. What you got going on? Give her her phone back. Not feeling Michael's approach, Jalen snapped and started letting off shots. First at Michael, then from the top of the stairs at the other party guests. As everyone scrambled to get out the house, 
someone returned fire at Jalen, hitting him in the arm. But downstairs, four other people were shot, including Nicholas and Alicia, who were in the kitchen. Someone at the party called police, who responded to the scene at the 2 a.m. to find Michael suffering from gunshot wounds, the couple, and also others. Jalen was still on the scene. He was found with a gun on him with a green laser beam. He was quickly taken into custody, but the damage had already been done. Nicholas' sister got the news it had been a shooting at the party. Knowing her brother and soon-to-be sister-in-law attended, she got worried and called his phone multiple times before getting the location and driving to the area. Once she and other family members pulled up, her fears of feeling something wasn't right was confirmed. Both Alicia and Nicholas were pulled from the house, unfortunately pronounced gone at the scene. Michael made it to the hospital, but he too would unfortunately pass away from his injuries. The couple's family couldn't believe it. A fun night out amongst friends turned into this. Nicholas' sister tried to process the situation, and even though she was hurt, she stated the couple lived life together, and if one would have made it without the other, it probably still would have felt like the same outcome. She felt her brother wouldn't have wanted to live without Alicia, vice versa. So them both losing their lives together reflected the closeness of their relationship. It seemed Michael knew Jalen, so he felt it was his party, so he was responsible for anything that happened, causing him to lose his life after confronting a man about his actions. The other victims will all survive. Jalen was brought to his first court date, armed in a sling, and read his charges, and given no bail, as some felt like he wanted to bring chaos to a friendly get-together. As of now, this case hasn't made its way to trial yet, and Jalen is innocent until proven otherwise. Rest in peace to Michael, Nicholas, and Alicia. I send my prayers and deepest condolences to all their families. All three of them were just 24 years old, as was everyone at the party all in their 20s. It's crazy you can't even go to a get-together amongst so-called friends without something like this happening. I don't know what Jalen was thinking to bring that kind of energy around people who accepted you in that circle and looked at him as a brother. But this just goes to show you how you can control yourself, but you can't control others, and you never know what someone is thinking. He allegedly took three lives, all because he pulled the clown move, and Michael pulled them up on it. Now Jalen turned the fun night out to family's morning, three young lives cut short, and him probably never coming home again at 25 years old, and all for what? I'm not sure if he was trying to rob the young lady or he knew the young lady or had some dealings with her and was trying to grab her phone because maybe he was jealous, she was dancing with somebody at the party or doing something else, but I won't speculate. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation in the comments. And remember, we got to succeed not to fail, so we won't be just another hood tub. Yeah, man, crazy story. Rest in peace to all three of the victims. Like I said, I send my prayers to their families, but I ain't going to talk too much more about this one. That's another episode of The Hood Tales. I appreciate you if you made it to the end. It's your boy Tony two times. Love, fam. I'm out.